Hi Virgos! Welcome back to my channel. This is a channel for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. If you are new, also welcome to you. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Do keep in mind this is a general reading and some messages may or may not be for you. Okay, Virgos, let's get into your weekend love messages and see what the universe has in store for you beginning on Friday, March 17th through the 19th. Okay, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What are the messages for Virgo? Okay, this could be the one beginning on Friday. All right, Virgo, let's see what else showing up here saturday let go of control issues and for sunday you've got wedding wow okay virgo are you getting married this weekend <laughs> all right let's get into this specifically on friday this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek okay so that feels like a message that some of you um maybe just recently met someone and um, things are just starting, you're getting off the ground, this could be the one, um, or you've previously met someone where there is a question. I feel like somebody is sitting here on Friday saying, I think, th I think this is the one. I think, I think this could be it. I think Virgo is the one for me. Okay, let's see. Ooh, you've got two of wands. Beautiful. You've got the emperor. And you've got the sun. Wow, very positive energy for Friday, Virgo. It looks like somebody's showing up here. It could be an Aries, but someone who is, I uh, love the emperor. That's an energy of someone who's respecting, respectful. Uh, someone sits in a leadership or strategic position. They make plans and they follow through. Um, right now, this person is kind of standing at the crossroads right now because it feels like um, this could be the one meaning you being the one for them, okay? And I feel like this person is feeling pretty positive about that. Um, so maybe you will meet someone also on Friday. Chance encounter, I feel, or somebody's name is Chance. Uh, chance encounter, I feel, where, um, yeah, I, this this person's like, wow, I'm pretty positive. I, I'm feeling good. I have some good vibes about Virgo. I'm feeling pretty strong about Virgo. And I want to take a leadership role in love in Virgo's life. Now let's get some, okay, just show me the King Cups. So for others, this could be somebody whose birthday um, could be over the weekend, uh, March 18th, 19th. It could be on the cusp of Pisces and Aries. Uh, could also be someone who sits in a position of Cancer or Scorpio. And then also there's Leo here, okay, for some qualifiers. But let's see. So the King of Cups showing up here, whether that's the person's actual sign is a water sign or, or an air, or yeah, air, any sign. It's someone who is very supportive and empathetic, um, very uh, nurturing, tolerant, okay? Love that energy of, the, of this person. Someone who is um, very kind and really tries to go out of their way to understand. They could be an empath or someone who goes out of their way to understand other people. They're very curious about other people's lives. Um, no maliciousness here whatsoever. I feel like this person um, truly comes from a place of emotion and heart, but is also someone who um, respects themselves, respects other people, is someone who is truthful and honorable and uh, doesn't play any kind of games or, or anything like that. Let me see how you may meet this person. Okay, Knight of Pentacles, so, hmm, so could be connected, you may meet them in um, maybe a career fair or some kind of an event, um, also someone, I feel like, 
Okay, so maybe you will meet them or you have met them, but I'm seeing someone standing at a counter paying for something, okay, um, on Friday, whether that's you and there's someone on the other side of the counter um, taking something, money or a product from you or uh, vice versa. You could be the one. You could be the one in a receiving position um, or there is also an energy of... Um, I, I just get a sense of somebody paying for something in whatever realm that might be. Um, they could just be someone who's signing paychecks. Um, like I said, it could be, a, for some of you, it could be a boss or um, <laughs> could be a daddy. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know where that came from. I, I, have, I have no explanation for that. Um, yeah, there's also an attachment to... Um, this person might ha be older and have um, like a, uh, okay, <laughs> sugar daddy, sugar mama, I don't know. This person might be older and they have um, uh, some offspring <laughs> that are close to your age. And there's a kid, you know, that kind of like an, a, a, an in-between person that connects you to them. Uh, it's a very strange message, okay. Um, yeah, so uh, either you're paying for something, paying this person for something, um, making a, making an investment of some sort, <clears throat> and um, you connect by way of monetary value, by way of money, okay, <laughs> on Fridays. So I don't know, Virgo, are you at a car dealership buying a car? Are you uh, buying a home? Um, are you connecting with someone um, in the banking industry or in business where there's some kind of an investment or something that you're doing? And I, I just feel like there's a spark that occurs, okay? And it, that brings this person to the two of wands where the two of wands, like I said, is, is just this uh, decision, this standing like we're at the crossroad and it's like oh wow oh wait a minute you know uh, I, I I see something here with Virgo I see I see something very we're compatible or there's a spark I don't I, Virgo I mean I'm not even kidding with this okay so I feel like overall <laughs> Virgo Friday is definitely going to be somebody here who sits in this position of like wow who is this Virgo? Wow, there's like an, a, there's just a spark. Friday is the spark, seriously. And it could occur on Saturday or Sunday as well. Um, and I feel like it may happen for you as, as well. It may happen for you too, you know, and uh, uh, it feels almost accidental. Like it's not, I don't feel like you're coming into Friday and you are, okay, I'm purposely going to try to meet somebody. I feel like you're, you're just doing something. This almost feels like a Hallmark Channel movie or a Korean drama or something. It's just so, it's very emotional, but it's, it's so, they're giving me pretty, beautiful, um, just very lovely energy, very positive energy with the sun. It, it, it's like, uh, I just feel like uh, like the light shine the lights shine down from the heavens, and it's this wow moment. Okay, so Friday looks great. Um, Friday looks like you walking down the street and you pick a penny up off the ground, and and someone comes up to you and says, "Hey, I dropped my penny," <laughs> or something so strange. It's it's like an introduction, you know, and then you're like, "Oh, here, here's your penny back," and then boom kismet happens so friday looks fun okay it looks nice all right <laughs> let's get into okay so yeah you get the seven of cups just popped out so saturday is let go of control issues um with the seven of cups virgo this just kind of feels like a energy or an energy of you know what i don't know what's gonna happen and uh, is something going on in your life on Saturday? I don't know what's going to happen. Everything's up in the air. And I'm not going to try to control this or maneuver things or, you know, do anything. I'm just going to let things evolve the way they are supposed to evolve. But there's definitely, the Seven of Cups makes me feel like there's definitely an energy of um, uh, let the chips fall where they may. Whatever's meant for me, you have that attitude. 
I see here on Saturday. Whatever is meant for me will be for me, and there's nothing I could do to make it pass me by. It will it will come when the time is right. And um, but I see a lot of like uh, there's a dreamy energy as well, uh, an energy, and I don't know if that's related to this here or it's just an overall energy of fantasy. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, Virgo, it, it just, it, there's, there's no clarity here. It's more along the lines of, oh, I just kind of see somebody is like fantasizing about all the different ways in which things could go in a positive direction in a relationship, okay? So if you meet someone on Friday and, and there's a recognition where it's like, wow, you know, I, I, it just gives me a sense of like you have some kind of hope back, you know, like you're, you or another person or two people just envisioning what could be. Okay, let me get into the rest of this and see what is going on. All right, a couple cards here. So I've got the five of wands. Oh, yeah, and the three of cups. So there's definitely an opportunity here to just allow things to be that five of wands is well five always represents uncertainty you know and i kind of feel virgo your energy specifically is going to be like okay well i'm just you teeter a little bit so it's like okay oh getting your hope back feeling enthusiastic about someone you connect with the day before but then also being like um so this is a small message for some of you also being like um oh it's not going to work out uh, relationships are tough um there's the there'll, there'll probably be arguments like there's a struggle here to let go of running a narrative in your mind and or and or locking yourself into a potential relationship and already playing it out in your head and then having an outcome <laughs> when it comes to socializing or connecting or dating. Um, I feel like the main message for Saturday, especially for you, and I do feel like there's another person who's going through this as well. The main message really is to just keep it simple and let things evolve on Saturday. Okay, uh, is this person going to ask you out? Possibly. Um, I don't see this person being tremendously assertive or extra forward. But I do see that an opportunity uh, could develop with somebody that you meet on Friday. So um, that Three of Cups, yeah, there's definitely like this uh, connecting on a very surface, social, minimal level. But it's beautiful with the Three of Cups. And also threes are about harmony and union. And also enthusiasm. So there's an energy of excitement as well. You know, um, Virgo, there's an obstacle here on Saturday for you specifically. And that is um, don't sabotage something before it actually can happen, right? Allow some, Allow your dreams and your hopes and your wishes on Saturday um, get yourself in that positive mindset and believe in miracles. Anything can happen, right? There is, for some of you, a reunion on Saturday. You may uh, be uh, either a reunion or you may be going out to party or spend some time. Um, I know we have St. Patrick's Day weekend, so some of you might be indulging in a little bit of um, Guinness, so to speak, or just going out with some friends um, or spending time with some family. There is a social event on Saturday as well you may get into. And um, you might also be doing something on Saturday involving some type of athletics or sports as well. Okay, And uh, you may have a dream or just be hoping and wishing for a win, I'm hearing, or success or victory. But I'm also hearing the best way to attain that is to not try to control it, but to be present and mindful to whatever you're doing this weekend and um, allow, allow a win to come 
for you, okay? And I know that is a little bit separate from a love message here, but I feel like if you're doing something, if you're competing, um, whether it's for fun or professionally, whatever you're doing, um, if you're meant to win, you're going to win, but put your best foot forward. Be your best self on Saturday, um, whatever you're doing, okay? Very strong message there. Now, listen, Virgo, you've got wedding on Sunday. So somebody could be going to a wedding on the weekend. Uh, I don't know. Do people have weddings on Sundays? It could be a big one, small one. You might be attending a wedding uh, on the weekend. Um, and there's also uh, a gift as well um, being given. Okay, all these cards just flipped out, and let me just take a look. Oh, wow, yeah. You know, Virgo, um, something is coming back around where there was a feeling of, I don't know, if someone, somebody here feeling like, um, the love is never going to happen, but there's an opening up. Yeah, uh, okay. You know, Virgo, I, I just got to give this caveat. If you meet somebody <laughs> accidentally, or you meet somebody on Friday, and like by Sunday, they're like, a, they actually offer a marriage proposal. I mean, I don't know. Okay. Hey, you never know. Sometimes things like that work out. Sometimes it's like crazy, but... I do feel like for some of you, you might connect or be invited to a wedding on Sunday, okay? Yeah, and for others, someone that you connect with is like, you are my dream guy, you are my dream girl, and um, I, I could see us, I could see something go, it's very emotional and very dreamy, I could see something between us happening, I feel like there's somebody here who has denied love many, many, many times over, um, or has been rejected many, many times over. There's definitely a connection being made, perhaps a toast. Um, there's a, a couple of different messages here. You're either being invited to a wedding, or you are going to one on Sunday with somebody, or you are um, connecting with someone on Sunday who um there's also like it's a, this whole this whole ring screams spark to me a love spark being made over the weekend absolutely um apart from wedding as well you know I, I do feel like if it's not an actual wedding i do feel like someone that you connect with asking you on a date or doing something and connecting with them on sunday or making plans on sunday um i feel like you're You're going to open yourself up to this. Perhaps it was you. It could have been you, Virgo, that um, there was a lot of options you might have had in the past um, for love, and they just were not fulfilling. It looks like whatever this situation or this person showing up, uh, Major Arcana uh, Judgment can be Aries or Scorpio, Whatever the situation is, there's an opening up here. That two of cups, I feel like you're definitely connecting with someone. <clears throat> um, and it feels to me like um, there's a mutuality between you both come into agreement. Yeah, Virgo, that ten of wands, that strong message like the struggle is over. I feel like you make a spark or there's a spark made on the weekend where you meet somebody or you connect with someone where there's something here that starts that's very beautiful. I see you and another person being, look at all this, like all this cup energy. I see you and another person coming into alignment. I mean, it's gorgeous. This, like the whole weekend is really, is really like surprising to me. It, it's a spark. There's a spark that gets made. Let me see if I can try to pull out some energy of who this person might be. Or what other messages there are, because there's there's no major uh, there's no court cards except for two knights, so that's kind of um like a start is how I feel like a beginning a start a spark being made. What other messages? 
Virgo needs to know here. Okay, so there's travel. So this could be, um, for some of you, um, Two of Wands is there, travel plans. This could be involving someone who, where there might be travel involved in the relationship or a connection with someone. Okay, some of you, this is someone that you're friends with, that you connect through other friends as well. Um, some friends or acquaintances. There's there's also, um, th they're saying, uh, talking to this person and finding out you have mutual friends. That's what I'm saying. With the Two of Cups, there's mutuality. Is that a word? Mutuality. Um, you might have mutual friends. Maybe you meet online on a social um, platform where there's mutual friends as well. Let me see. Oh, there's the gifts card. Yeah, Virgo. So like I said, there's something to do with gifts here, either receiving a gift or giving a gift, surprise gift as well. That's what I'm seeing with the Ten of Wands, with the burden. Um, I feel like, you you know, if, you, if you're picking out a gift for a wedding or someone's getting married or um, re you could be receiving one or opening one uh, from friends or from somebody here, uh, I just feel like um, a blessing is happening here. I love it. So I would definitely have to run with um, receiving some kind of a gift over the weekend more so than anything from someone... And a gift, you know, doesn't have to be diamonds and pearls. It, um, a gift could just be something very small, like somebody brings you flour or um, somebody makes you some baked goods or makes you um, a meal or um, pays for something for you <clears throat> or uh, a trinket as well, okay, as an expression of love, which I know Virgos love those little things that touches their heart, those small little gifts that have something to do with who they are because it represents the other person paying attention and understanding who you are. So, you know, for example, if you're someone who um, really likes to collect mini kitty cats, I don't know, <laughs> you really like cats, it, somebody gives you a gift that has something to do with cats. It's not me, I'm a dog person, but somebody who gives you something to do with cats. You know, it's it's someone who pays attention. I, I think it's so special when someone gives a gift to someone based on that other person's likes, not based on our own. Do you know what I mean? I, because it, it shows a, a real strong sign of um, understanding and uh, kindness, right? And um, there's always something kind of off when... <laughs> If you like cats and somebody gives you dog gifts because they're a dog person, it's kind of like, what are you doing? No, that like it just just doesn't go with my mental decor. I'm just not interested in that. So there's some kind of a gift here that you receive from someone who gives to you because they know or find out that it's something that you uh, really enjoy. Okay. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Let me see what else is going on here. This weekend looks so lovely, Virgo. Okay. Oh, destiny. All right. This is destined. Definitely. You're going to be connecting with someone that you're destined to be with. Lovely, Virgo. Luck, chance, meant to be. And we got this lucky uh, leprechaun weekend coming up here. This is something I feel like is meant to be. Um, if you look at this hand... <laughs> this could be the shape of your hand, if you might recognize this hand, or the shape of somebody else's hand. Do you recognize the shape? Okay, let me see. Tokens of, tokens and gestures of love. Oh, right, money, wealth, luck again. Finances, oh boy. Okay, Virgo, um, you might be getting some money over this weekend or a gift of a gift of money over the weekend. So many hint, like that's not very romantic, but it is what it is. Okay, we've got someone here who shows up. If you're uh, someone that's a fair male, could be you 
or it could be this other person. They might even look a little bit like this. Okay, they are lighter than darker. Light eyes, light skin, light hair. Okay. And oh, passion, chemistry and a passionate feeling. Beautiful. Um, wow, Virgo, you're, I, I can't even with this. Your reading for the weekend looks phenomenal. And I'm super, super excited for you. Let me get a couple of um, physical features oracle to see if we can get a little more information on who this person might be. All right, some physical features for Virgo to confirm. Okay, we've got someone here who is very tall. All right. All right, someone with hazel eyes. So we've got a person here who's tall with hazel eyes. What else? We've got someone here who has some freckles. I'll give you several different descriptions. Freckles and short hair. Okay. Also got someone, Aura's favorite, with a man bun. <laughs> or they might just look like this. Could be red hair as well. Okay, so they could have a man bun and their hair color is red or reddish or reddish brown. All right, one more other physical feature. Or it's someone, or it could be a female who wears, uh, that has red hair who wears their hair up like that. Sometimes, not always. Female with a beard, sure. <clears throat> okay, we've got someone here with wavy hair. And okay, so they might have had long wavy hair and now they are bald um, or their hair has thinned. Um, they may have um, gotten a, a real crew cut of some sort for military as well. Um, or they may be bald and they are wearing a wig. Okay, so these are um, some sign signifiers for you. If you connect with this person and you meet this person, this is the energy playing out. Let me just get a couple of messages of love. Okay, you've got marriage and you've got true love. Oh my gosh, Virgo, can't make this up. This relationship will move towards a sacred union. The situation involves marriage. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Wow, Virgo, I feel like a spark gets made over the weekend and you are connecting with the one over this weekend. Now, listen, as I said in the beginning, keep in mind this is a general reading and some of these messages may or may not, may not be for you. So understand that if the weekend passes and this has not happened for you, it's okay. It will at some point or there will be another message for you next weekend, okay? Um, I think always the best thing to do is to wish and pray that another person who um, this might be for um, gets their wishes come true for what they're seeking in love, okay? Rather than be like, this isn't for me, it didn't happen and blah, blah, blah. But it might happen for someone. So maybe congratulate that other person on the blessing that they've received. Yours will come if, if it doesn't happen for you. It may happen for someone over this weekend. All right. So I always like to say, you know, <clears throat> if, if someone is experiencing this over the weekend and they make a match with someone that's just, there's equality and chemistry and compatibility. I mean, wow, so happy for that person to have that. So I'm going to give you guys just a couple of charms and then we'll be done with the reading. Also remember, I will be here on Sunday, March 19th. I may or may not be here tonight for a QA. and I'll, I'll have to see uh, because I have plans and I'm not sure I have to confirm those. So if my plans are confirmed, then I won't be here. But if not, then I will be here. Just keep your eye out. Make sure you take the notification bell and make sure you tick it to all notifications for your alerts. But I will definitely be here on Sunday for the Q&A. Okay. All right. Here's a charm. Here we go, Virgo. 
you have, let's see if I can get it to focus. You've got a musical instrument and it doesn't want to focus. Okay, that's all right. I can make that happen. You've got a musical instrument. It could be, well, it's a, it's a stringed instrument. Kind of looks like a bass guitar, um, but it could be any stringed instrument. Um, so for some of you, um, either you play some type of musical instrument or um, you connect with someone over the weekend who does. It could be in a band or maybe they're in an orchestra or um, part of a musical group <clears throat> or they're a teacher of music or they do something um, connected to these guitars, um, they may make them or create them. They could be a crafter, woodworker, something along those lines. Okay, there's a connection to music. And if you are out over the weekend as well, um, enjoying some musical um, performances, you may connect with this person as well over this weekend. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. That was lots of fun, and uh, I will see you all back here on Sunday. Uh, Sunday morning will be your Q&A, possibly Friday night as well tomorrow, and uh, I'll see be back here Sunday night for your singles reading. All right, you guys, love you all very much, and have a great weekend. Take care. <music>